The Cube presents Dell Technologies World, brought to you by Dell. Welcome to Las Vegas, Lisa Martin with Dave Vellante. The Cube is live at Dell Technologies World 2022. Dave, Did you say live? Great. Live. <laughs> we are live, we are in person, we are 3D. We are also here on the first day of our coverage with an eight time, that's right, eight time Cube alum. Gail Schnorrison joins us, the Senior Vice President of Edge Portfolio Solutions at Dell Technologies. Welcome back, our friend. Thank you, it's great to be here in this forum with live people, you know, in 3D. Isn't it, we're, really we're, not, we're not via a screen, this is actually real. <laughs> So Gil, a, a, lot, a lot of buzz, great attendance at this first event since 2019, lots been going on since then. We're talking a lot about Edge. It's not new, but there's a lot changing. What's going on there? Well, you know, Edge has been around for a while. Um, actually, since you know the, the beginning of time, people were doing you know, compute and, and applications in the, um, in the physical space where data is created, but more and more um, data is based on sensors in cameras and machine vision. And if you want to make real-time decisions, there's a few reasons why you can't just send everything back to a data center or a cloud. Maybe you don't have the right latency, maybe um, you it's too costly, maybe you don't have the right bandwidth, maybe you have security challenges, maybe you have compliance challenges. So the world's moving more and more resources towards where the data is created. And to make real-time decisions and to generate new business values, things are changing and they're becoming much more um, um, involved than before, much more. Um, so basically that, that's what's changing. We, know we need to deal with distributed architectures much more than we needed before. I think one of the things we've learned in the last very dynamic two years is that access to real-time data is no longer a nice to have, it's table stakes for whether we're talking about retail, healthcare, et cetera, so that the, the real-time data access is critical for everybody these days. Right, and it's, it could be a real-time decision or it could even be data collection. Either way, you need to place some device, some compute next to the source. And then, you know, you have a lot of them and you just multiply by multiple use cases and you, be, you basically have a very complex problem to solve. And if you ask me what's new is that complexity is becoming more and more um, critical to solve. Critical. Oh, oh good, please. I was just going to say, talk to me about some of the, from a, from a complexity resolution perspective, what are some of the things that Dell is doing to help organizations as they spread out to the edge more to meet that consumer demand, but reduce that complexity from an infrastructure standpoint? So, we focus on simplifying. I think that's what people need right now. So, there are two things we do. We, we optimize our products, um, whether they need ruggedization or different temperature envelopes, or uh, management capability, remote management capability, and we create solutions. And so we develop um, solutions that look at specific um, outcomes and we size it and we create deployment guides. Um, we do everything we can um, to simplify the, uh, the edge use cases for our customers. You know, you guys, it's talking about, it's not new, I, I, it, and I know you do a lot in retail, I think of like the NCR cash register as the, the original edge, you know, but there's other use cases. Uh, there's, you, Gil, you and I have talked about AI inferencing in, in real time. There was a question today in the analyst forum, uh, I think it went to Jeff, or, or nobody wanted to take it, no, maybe it was Michael, about the metaverse. But that, there's edge, space is the edge, industrial IOT, so how do you, I mean the TAM is enormous, how do you think about the use cases, are there ones that that aren't necessarily sort of horizontal for you, that you don't go after, like EVs and Tesla cars, or how are you thinking about it? It the, depends. The Look, I, I agree that the uh, edge business is very verticalized. Um, at the same time, there are very, uh, there's, there are themes that emerge across every industry. Um, so we're trying to solve things horizontally, being Dell, we need to solve for um, repeatability and scale. But we do package you know, vertical solutions on top of them because that's what people need. Um, so for example, you, know, you said um, NCR being the, uh, the original edge. If I ask you today, name how many applications are, are running in a retail store to enable your experience, you'd say, well, maybe there's self-checkout, maybe there is um, fraud detection. You'd say a handful. Uh, it's a handful. Yeah. The fact is it's not. It's yeah. about 30 different applications. 30? That are running, yeah. so you have you know, digital labels, and you have, you know, a curbside delivery, and you have inventory management, and you have crowd management, and you have safety and security, and what happens today 
is that every one of those solutions is purchased separately and deployed separately and connected to the network separately and secured separately, hence you see the problem, right? And so, you know, what we do when we create a solution, for example, we say, okay, infrastructure, what can we consolidate onto an infrastructure that could scale over time? And then we look at it in the context of a solution. So, you know, the solution we're announcing or we announced last week does just that. On the left side, it looks at a consolidated infrastructure based on VxRail and VMware Stack. So you can run multiple applications. On the right side, it's working with a company called Deep North for intro analytics. And actually, people that um, attend the show, they can go and see this in action um, in our um, you know, fake retail store uh, back at the Edge booth. Um, but the point is, those elements of siloed applications and the need to consolidate, they're true for every industry. And that's what we're trying to solve for. I was just wondering, you said they're true for every industry. Every industry is facing the same challenges there. What, what makes retail so prime for transformation right now? That's a great question. So, you know, using my example from before, if you're faced with this savvy shopper that buys online, and they now are coming back to the stores and they need to, they want the same experience. They want the stuff that they search for, they want it available to them. Um, and in fact, we researched that 80% of people say if they have a bad experience, will not come back to a retail store. So you've got all of those use cases that you need to put together. You've got this savvy shopper that comes in. You've got heightened labor costs. You've got a supply chain problem in most of those markets. Labor shortages It's as well. a perfect storm and you want to give an experience, right? So CIOs are looking at this and they go, how do I do all of that? Um, and they, 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 as I said before, the key, management, the key problem is management. Management of all of those things is why they can innovate faster. And so retail is in this perfect storm where they need to innovate and they want to innovate and now they're looking for options and we're here to help them. You know, a lot of times we talk about the, in, in industrial IoT, we talk about the IT and the OT schism. Is there a similar sort of dissonance between IT, your peeps, Dell's traditional market, and what's happening you know, at the near edge, the retail infrastructure, is it sort of different requirements? How are you thinking about that and managing that? About 50% um, of edge projects today are somehow involving IT. Um, usually every project will involve IT for networking and security. So they have to manage it either way. And today there's a lot of what we used to call shadow IT when we talked about cloud. This is happens at the edge as well. Now this happened for a good reason because the expertise are the OT, people have the expertise on the, the specific use case. It's true for manufacturing, it's also for, true for, for retail. Um, our traditional audience is the IT audience, and, and we will never be able to merge the two worlds unless IT was better able to service the OT buyers. And even in the show, I've had multiple conversations today with people that talk about the divide, how to bring it together. It will come together when IT can deliver a better service to the OT um, constituents. And that's definitely a job for Dell, right? This is what we do. If we enable our IT buyer to do a better job in servicing the OT crowd or the business crowd in retail, um, more innovation will happen you know, across the, those different dimensions. So I'm happy you asked that because that's actually part of the mission we're taking on. Where is one of the things I think about when you, you talk about that consumer experience and we're very demanding as consumers, we want to have, as you described, we want to have the same experience, we expect to have that regardless of where we are, and if that doesn't happen, you, you mentioned that number 80% of people surveyed said, if I have a bad experience with a merchant, I'm out, I'm going somewhere else. Right. So where is the rest of the C-suite in the conversation? I can think of um, a COO, the chief marketing officer, from a brand value, brand reputation perspective. Are you talking with those folks as well to help make the connected store a reality? Um, I, I, I don't know that we're having those conversations with those business owners. We, we're a, a um, a system, an infrastructure company. So you know, we get involved once they understand you know, what they want to do. We just look at it and say, if you solve it one way, it's going to be one outcome. Maybe there is a better way to look at it. Maybe there's an architecture. Maybe there's a more you know, thoughtful way to think about you know, the problems before they happen. And, um, but the fact that they're all looking shows you that their business owners are very, very concerned with, with this reality. They're key stakeholders. Can we come back to your announcement? Can, you can we unpack that a little bit? 
uh, for those who might not be familiar with it. What, what, what is it called again? Uh, and give us a, peel the onion a little bit, Gil. Yeah, so, so we call it a Dell Technologies Validated Design. Um, it is essentially a reference architecture. Um, we take a use case, we size it, so we, you know, we, we, um, we save customers the effort of, of testing and sizing. We document the deployment step by step, we just make it simpler. And as I said before, we look for consolidation, so we took a VxRail, which is our leading HCI product based on VMware technology, with a VMware application management stack with Tanzu. Um, and then we, we, we look at that as the infrastructure, and then we test it with a company called Deep North. And Deep North um, are um, store analytics, so through machine vision, they can tell you where people are queuing up. If there is somebody in the store that needs help and nobody's approaching, if there is a water spill and somebody might you know, slip and hurt themselves, if a fridge is open and something may get spoiled, so all of those things together through machine vision and real-time decisions can help this much better experience. So we put all of this together, we created a design, and now it's out there in the market for our partners to use, for our customers to use, um, this is an extension of our manufacturing solutions where we did the same thing. We partner with a company called PTC, you may know of obviously, of and a company called Litmus um, to create um, industrial analytics solutions. So this whole world of solutioning is supposed to look at the infrastructure and the use case and bring them together and document in a way that simplifies things for customers. Do you, do you ever see that becoming a, a skew at some point in time? Or? Um, I, personally, if you ask me, I don't think so. And the reason is there's still a lot of variability in those and skewing, but that's a very formal, you know, internal discussion. Yeah. Um, the point is we, are, we want people to buy as much of it as they need to, and, and we really want to help them. If a skew could help them, we will get there, but we need to see repeatability before creating skews. Can you give us an example of a, of a retail or a manufacturing customer that's using this Dell Validated Design, this DVD, and that really has, reduced or eliminated that complexity that was there before? So this solution is new. I mean, it's brand new, we just announced it, so no, but um, I don't know what names I can call out because referenceability is problematic. Examples, but, though, but, but generic. But I will tell you that most of the large retailers in the US are basing their stores on Dell Technologies. Um, a lot of VxTrail is in, in those stores. Sure, and you're talking yeah. about thousands of locations with remote management, um, what we're doing here is we're taking it to the next step by looking at new use cases that they have not been implementing before. And saying, look, same infrastructure is valid, you know, scalable is it's scalable, and here are the new use cases with machine vision and other things that you might need to add. Here is how you do that. But we're seeing a lot of success in retail in the, in the last few years. So what should we expect looking forward? You know, any gaps that customers are asking for that you're trying to fill? What, what, couple, two to three years out, what should we expect? Um, I think we're going to stay very true to our simplification message. We want to help people simplify. So if it's simplifying um, maintenance, if it's simplifying management, if it's simplifying through solutioning, you're going to see us more and more and more um, investing in simplification of edge. Um, and that's through our own IP, through our partnerships. Um, there, there is a lot more coming, if, if I may say so myself, but, but it's, it's a little too early to, uh, to talk about it. So for those folks that are here at the show that get to see it and play with it and touch it and feel it, what would you say some of the biggest impacts are that this technology can deliver tomorrow? Well, first of all, it's enabling them to do what they want. See, we don't have to go and, and tell people, oh, you probably need to move things to the edge. They know they need to do it. Our job is to tell them how to do it in a secure way, in a simplified way. So that's, that's the nice thing about this, this market. It's happening whether we want it or not. Um, people in this show can go see some things in action. They can see the retail solution in action. They can see the manufacturing solution in action. And even more so, and I forgot to say, part of our announcement was a set of solution centers in Limerick Island and in Singapore that was just opened and soon enough in Austin, Texas. Saw that. And we will have people come in and have the full experience of IoT and edge devices in action. So AR and VR and IoT and sensor technology and scanning technology. So they could be um, thinking about the art of the possible, right? Thinking about this immersive experience that will help them invent with us. 
And so we're expecting a lot of innovation to come out of those conversations for us and for them. So doing a lot of testing before deployment and really gleaning testing that innovation. Testing before deployment, solution architecture, just ideation if they're not there yet. So, and I've just been to Singapore in one of those. Um, they asked me to um, pretend I was a um, retail scanner in a distribution center. I didn't do so well, but I was still impressed with the technology, so. Well, eight time Q alumni, now you have a career to fall back on if you need to. Exactly. <laughs> Gil, it's been great to have you. Thank you so much for coming back, talking to us about what's new on day one of Dell Technologies World 22. Thank you for having me again. Our Thank pleasure. You. For Dave Vellante, I'm Lisa Martin, coming to you live from the Venetian in Las Vegas at Dell Technologies World 2022. This is day one of our coverage. Stick around, Dave and I will be right back with our next guest.